wherever I go, I encounter this question. How come you became CEO at the age of 35? Some people think I am extraordinarily genius. Some people think my father or my uncle are very powerful people. Uh, but truth be told, I became a CEO of IPDC because nobody else wanted to be CEO here. I will, I will tell you that story. I will tell you that story today. And I also tell my story as the story of three P's. Tinta PDA Volvo. Before that, I apologize. I am suffering from fever and cold. If my voice gets cracked, please excuse me. I am a so that I don't choke. But at the same time, I feel that I had the privilege to listen to two of the speakers. One of the things that I have said is <laughs> that I have said 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 that I So my story will be the proof of those theories. I have said that I have said that so the story began in the year 2006. I was working with the Standard Chartered Bank and I was on the move to Dubai for a regional position. So Amar, er agir boss jini chilen American Express. He joined IPTC as managing director and CEO, and he called me up. So like he told me, why don't you come to IPTC? Let's work together and make this company as big and as famous like Goldman Sachs. Okay. I was young, young like you, and I trusted him. So I, I thought I, I should leave stand share and I should join IPDC as head of operations. But my bosses at stand share, they were not very happy with my decision. They are really frustrated. My boss here in Dhaka and also in Dubai, they sat with me and said, Mohamed, why do you want to leave the most, one of the most prestigious back in the world and going to join a nameless small company like IPTC here in Bangladesh. And I mean, I couldn't want to call it. Why? 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 So, I mean, I was adamant, I was full, and I was young, and I took the decision, no, I will not be staying. So, I remained stuck to my decision and joined IPTC in 2006, in the month of April. And the decision turned out to be a disaster. Okay? So I did not have any clue IPDC ki avastha. So IPDC was on the verge of collapse. It was sinking at that time. So we had the highest default loan in the market, 43%. We did not have any liquidity, Potidin shop, and we had bunch of very talented people as employee. Shop North American by European University take a masters or bachelor's Korea. But they were completely disengaged and disgruntled. Everybody was counting days when they can leave IPDC and join somewhere better organization. So during 2006, if anybody can remember or know, Joishuma's share market was rising up. And so I said, laptop was a little bit of 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 a little of and there was no operation department in the organization. <laughs> so my first job was to draw a proper organizational structure for the company. So any bank or financial institution, we <coughs> fundamentally work in the business of risk. So how well you manage the risk is also how well you run the business. So 
যে কোনো অর্গানাইজেশন ফাউন্ডেশন ইনস্টিটিউশন ইউ নিড টু সেগ্রিগেট ফিউ ফাংশন দেয়ার উইল বি বিজনেস অর মার্কেটিং ফাংশন ফর দেন পিপল দেয়ার উইল বি ইয়োর ক্রেডিট রিস্ক ম্যানেজমেন্ট যারা অ্যাসেস করবে রিস্কটা কি অ্যান্ড দেয়ার উইল বি অসো অপারেশনস ডিপার্টমেন্ট যারা রিস্কটাকে কন্ট্রোল ফাংশনের মাধ্যমে তারা মিটিগেট করবে সো উই ড্রিউ দ্য প্রপার অর্গানাগ্রাম উইথ অল দ্য ডিপার্টমেন্টস নেসেসারি ফর দ্য অর্গানাইজেশন এখন যেটা ছিল যে আগে তো অপারেশনস বা ক্রেডিট রিস্ক ম্যানেজমেন্ট ছিল না সো দেয়ার ওয়াজ অনলি ওয়ান ডিপার্টমেন্ট ইন দ্য নেম অফ ইনভেস্টমেন্ট সো তারাই সব কাজ করতো ডিসবার্সমেন্ট লোন সলিসিট করা লোন ডিসবার্স করা বা লোনের সার্ভিসিং করা তো প্রথমে যখন তিন ভাগ হলো প্রথমে আমরা বললাম কর্পোরেট বিজনেস তো কর্পোরেট বিজনেসে যারা সবচেয়ে ভালো ওই বারো বাইশ তেইশ জন ছেলে মেয়ের মধ্যে ওদেরকে কর্পোরেট হেড তার সাথে নিয়ে গেল এরপরের সুযোগ আসলো ক্রেডিট রিস্ক ম্যানেজমেন্টের উনি তারপরে যারা ভালো ছিল তাদেরকে নিয়ে গেল দেয়ার আর অনলি ফাইভ সিক্স লেফট যারা ভেরি ইয়াং এক দুই বছর বা জাস্ট ফ্রেশ জয়েন করেছে অ্যান্ড যাদের খুব বেশি প্রমিস নাই ওরা থেকে গেল অপারেশনস ডিপার্টমেন্টে আমি বললাম যে দেখো তোমাদেরকে তো কেউ নিতে চায় না তোমার তোমরা ভালো কোনো ডিপার্টমেন্টে যেতে পারো নাই সো দিস ইজ দিস ইজ অ্যান অপরচুনিটি ফর ইউ পিপল টু প্রুভ ইউর সেলফ দ্যাট ইউ রিয়েলি আর ওয়ার্ড সামথিং সো উই রিয়েলি ওয়ার্ক হার্ড টু মেক শিওর উই মেক আ স্টোরি অফ আস সো একটা উদাহরণ দিলে অ্যাট দ্যাট টাইম আই পিডিসি ডিড নট হ্যাভ এনি টেকনোলজিক্যাল সিস্টেম ইন প্লেস সো বিং আ ভেরি প্রেস্টিজিস প্রেস্টিজিয়াস ইনস্টিটিউশন ইন দ্য পাস্ট ইট ওয়াজ সাপোজ টু হ্যাভ সাম কাইন্ড অফ ইনফরমেশন টেকনোলজি প্ল্যাটফর্ম এসেন্সিয়াল ফর এনি মডার্ন অর্গানাইজেশন আনফরচুনেটলি আই পিডিসি ডিড নট হ্যাভ ওয়ান সো অ্যাট দ্যাট টাইম উই টুক দ্য ইনিশিয়েটিভ টু ইমপ্লিমেন্ট দ্য ফার্স্ট কোর ব্যাংকিং সিস্টেম ফর আই পিডিসি তো যেটা হলো যে সারাদিন তো নর্মাল কাজ করতে হতো উই ডিড নট হ্যাভ মেনি পিপল ইন দ্য অর্গানাইজেশন অনলি থার্টি এইট পিপল তার মধ্যে আইটি অপারেশনস অ্যান্ড জেনারেল সার্ভিস মিলাই দেন অ্যারাউন্ড টেন টুয়েলভ পিপল ইউজ টু রিপোর্ট টু মি তো সেইখানে অপারেশনস অ্যান্ড আইটি যারা সাত আটজন মিলে আমরা প্রজেক্টটা ইমপ্লিমেন্ট করছিলাম তো দিনের বেলা যখন ওয়ার্কিং টাইম উই ডিড নট হ্যাভ টাইম টু ওয়ার্ক অন দ্য প্রজেক্ট সো উই স্টার্ট এড we used to start our work on thursday around 6:30 in the evening after day's work thursday whole night friday whole day friday whole night on this saturday during this hour we used to go back to our home we used to take a hot shower because that's like november december in 2006 i am talking about and then we used to sleep for 18 hours and then we used to come back to office again on the sunday till the clock in the morning so that was the kind of hard work that went into amake dekhiye the ceo could bring in few other uh, multinational background uh, department heads the head of corporate joint head of retail that was a new business function we created he joined cfo joint we had a good uh, head of trade risk management from the past he was there i was there so it was a very good team but nobody wants to work for a sinking ship first the head of corporate left the organization for a better job in a good bank then the ceo at that time he called me at his office and said momin can you look after the corporate business beside your operations job i said i certainly can and i became the head of corporate as in chairs beside head of operations within couple of months head of retail also left and you know what will be the consequences i was again called at the ceo's office and i was given the additional responsibility of retail business <laughs> by the end of december 2007 i was looking after most of the business function because by that time the cfo left the head of creditors management led so all major five function of the company except for the legal and company secretariat and recovery management were under me okay one by one it all came then in january 2008 the ceo was on leave and he was in us 
From there he made a call to me. And he said, Bobin, I want to share one information with you. And I, I, that was kind of appreciation. But I checked and said, there is something going to happen. And it was true. He said, Bobin, I have decided to leave IPDC and I, I am going to join a bank. So this guy brought me at IPDC and he was leaving. And there was an urgent meeting of the board of directors called and the board of directors decided to make me the acting CEO of the company in January 2008 when I was 30 year, 31 years old. So as there was no, no one else in the company, so it was by default, I, I become an acting CEO. So I worked uh, as acting CEO for six months and during that period there was very funny thing used to happen. So I went to Chittagong to meet one of the very large corporate customer and they, they had a very, uh, say, good welcome board placed on the entrance. Welcome Mr. Mobin Islam, the acting CEO of IPTC. There was a nice flower bouquet and I was with our head of corporate business at that time. And we too, when we were entering, the managing director of that company came forward to receive us and said, uh, MD Shaheb Ashen Nai, where is MD, MD Shaheb Kui? So, head of corporate business Shaheb Kui said, I'm going to see you, 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 I'm going to see you. And, and, one day, I'm going to see you, I'm going to see you, Bangladesh Bank is governor of Russia, so I, that was uh, Friday, the, uh, 12th, uh, 1 o'clock, so I was very confused, first time I met at the time, when I was in the morning, 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 and there was nobody else other than the governor's wife, so we were talking, 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 I was talking with the governor's wife. So one of the CEO of one of the NBFI, Tamake Dehe, Uni Ponce, Jacha Kishu Monekur Venda, Aptiki Governor at Chile. He is not governor's son, he is Tinbash Akehole, Uni Aptar Company Chairman. That's the housing, IPTC was the sponsor shareholder, and IPTC used to be the chairman of National Housing. So, what do you think? Our wife said that she had a lot of dinner and she had a lot of dinner and she had a lot of dinner. They were much older than her and they said, okay, we have to say that our husband is the IPTC managing director. So, we have to say that it's a second marriage. Okay, look. Okay, look. We have to say that at the same time, we have to say that MD to 50-60 years to each other of the bank financial institution are high. That's why this one for it, our wife goes to the tumi to ask why to the one who put it together and give that one, there will be a problem. So it was like that. The choice was for it, there was a new managing director appointed, but again, he did not feel like staying at IPDC. Within three months, he left to become managing director of a bank. So if our board bought them, they will not get any CEO from the outside. J.J. Stakeholder, whether there is a poor young man, Jake CEO, and the board decided to make me the permanent CEO in July 2008. Not yet, not yet, not yet. So board decided to make me the CEO, but to become CEO in any bank or financial institution, it requires the approval of Bangladesh Bank. And they have certain minimum qualification criteria for the managing director of bank and financial institution. At that time, to become the managing director of a financial institution, you require minimum bachelor's degree and minimum 12 years experience. So I had the bachelor's degree at that time, but unfortunately I had only nine and a half years experience. The central bank rejected the proposal of uh, our board. Because of that, I was asked to ask you to ask you to ask ये अप्रूवल रहता है दो दिन पहले आज जो उनके पास बहुत छोटे जो ने दिखा हुआ है अब आप किचु दिन पहले हुआ है जो चेयरमैन बाको इन्फ्लुएंशियल डायरेक्टर है छे ले बात आता है शाला कुनो एक्सपीरियंस छड़ा ही मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर हो जाएगा सो इट इट मेड सेंस फॉर देम सो आई कुड नॉट बिकम द मैनेजिंग 
CEO joined in after six months in 2009. She worked at IPTC uh, for around two and a half years. And she, when she left at the end of 2011, I just managed to have 12 years experience. And at that time, naturally, I become the CEO at IPTC. And whatever is that, those people, my bosses in the Standard Chartered, you remember the why, why, why? This time, that why become wow, wow, wow. <laughs> but that brings the first P in my life. That's perseverance. Kichu kuna ke yamna je poster gula dekla. Never, never, never give up. Everybody will give up. When everybody gave up, I stuck to my purpose. I remained with IPTC. Nobody saw there is an opportunity to realize success. I saw there is the opportunity. When everybody left, I stayed back. So when you give up, you stop there. So if you want to really achieve something extraordinary, something meaningful, something amazing, you have to work hard. Brutal, raw, hard work will take you, only take you to your milestone. Okay? So, I like the golf ball, I like the master's score. It was a coincidence. It was also like, uh, it started from something different. So, in 2013, one of my friends who was an adjunct faculty in a leading private university called me and requested me to take a class for the executive MBA. I said, that's very, very good. I, I love to really teach. And I said, there is only one condition. I cannot take any remuneration for my teaching because my employment contract with IPDC do not allow me to be engaged in any other financially uh, beneficial employment. He said, the university will be very happy in case if they don't need to pay you. So, he will get back to me. So, he did not respond back. So, I was a little bit surprised and I, I required to plan, okay, over the summer, what will I do? So, I did not hear from you. Is there anything uh, happening or I should plan differently? So, there is some small problem. Well, as per university policy, if you want to teach at the MBA level, uh, you have to have a master's degree and you don't have a master's degree. So just after the completion of my BBA, I joined American Express. I was a master's degree. So I did master's degree. I did not have the opportunity to, do, uh, to teach in an university. I felt really, really humiliated. I mean, university the jai, sometimes special guests, sometimes uh, cheap guests to me, are, they are not allowing me to teach me. So I said, okay, I have to have a master's degree. So being a business graduate, it would have been very easy for me to pursue an MBA, but I'm going to show how to do something, let's do something challenging, something a little bit more interesting. So I started my master's in economics in North South University in the evening. So I, I thought with my academic background, it will not be very difficult for me. It will be very easy and fun. But I was again proven wrong. So without the background in economics and also whole day my official engagement at work, I, I, could, I was really failing. The, in the first semester, I saw I, I was not really understanding anything and an alarm bell started ringing in my head. Everybody in my office knew their boss is doing a master's degree and in case I get dropped out, I cannot show my face. So I, I thought, okay, this cannot happen. So fortunately, nobody at NSU knew who I am. Because there are 
one or two of my lone people, I beg to them, please do not tell anybody that I am the CEO at IPD. <laughs> so, I mean, no, I, I must make sure I do not fail. So I was never a very serious student after grade five, but I was a very intelligent, clever student. I knew how studying the list you can come out successful with more than average mark in every subject. And Baki Shomait, I used to study all other stuffs, nothing related to my academics. So I, I read everything from economics, from science, politics, history, medicine, everything. But not my textbook. But Eivor Putham, I am a Parashuna Shurukulam, Oleg Din Pole. So I spent uh, lots of uh, say nights, sleepless, uh, weekends, no more social or family get, get together, no more invitation at my house, no overseas trip. And once I got into rhythm, economics was always in my heart. So I, I was always fascinated with economics. And it was also relevant to my work. And then basically, after say, a couple of weeks of hard study, I saw that things are making sense. So I got so bogged down with the study. I was required to do 12 courses, but after 12 courses, I did 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. My wife got very, very frustrated, and I had two little kids. She said, enough. You don't have your family life anymore. Your kids miss you, and we do not go anywhere because of you. So you just stop, or we are leaving the house. So, so I had to stop. I had to stop, and when I went to take my, uh, say, I applied for my, uh, this convocation and there was one administrative officer in the office in the economics department and she said, you, uh, the chairman is, uh, chairman of the department is, uh, uh, want to talk to you and you go to his room and I am bringing your application. So I went there and sir was, by that time he knew me and he was talking on one of the program we'll be doing at, uh, North South University, and that lady came and he was looking at me in a different way. He said, Sir, Unito higher CGPP, Unito is much more vice chancellor's gold medal partner. So I, before that, I did not have any clue. And I, I got that. The best thing happened is that I took that medal in front of my wife and two of my kids who were 11 years and 9 years old at that time. So that was a matter of profound pride for me. So that brings my second P. The first P was perseverance. The second P is a passion for learning. So what started uh, with a refusal from an university brought me to some success, which I was not really prepared, but the main essence was learning. One interesting thing really came, in 2015, the central bank revised their circular for minimum qualification to become a CEO. It was made now minimum master's degree and 15 years experience. So as if they were waiting for me to complete my master's to change that, uh, that uh, uh, qualification criteria. But on the hindsight, I want to do my master's degree complete that act to our next time contract renew in early 2018, most probably I would have some problem. So sometimes refusal is good, be it from your fiance or be it from the universities. So then I also have the second P a passion for learning. So the world is changing. World is changing. So to be uh, somebody who, to, just to survive or to succeed, you have to learn every day. Even today, I read at least two, year, two hours and on average four hours in a week. So the world is changing. We are into the fourth industrial revolution now. Things like this artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data, neurobiology, neuroscience big data, these are changing the world around us. Not only that, this is also changing who we are as human beings. 
The name of the theme at this moment is to continuously learn, relearn, and unlearn. So you learn something, you have to unlearn because that has become irrelevant and you have to also relearn. Amake Jokan be the head of corporate, be the head of retail, each actor for actor Nutum department I was not being paid a single taka more. Why do you think I took those initial charges? Because that gave me the opportunity to learn new things with which would have required me more than 10 years to the normal course of action actor department take an actor department in Chetan. But the passion for learning was such that I took those initial responsibility and which made me prepared for the CEO position. So first perseverance, second is a passion for learning. Now I will come to the last P. So by 2014 IPTC was quite an stable company. Our default loan came down to one of the lowest in the market and also our deposit that grew and we did not have any problem in the liquidity form. We had good corporate governance and most importantly I have a very young and dedicated, passionate team. But we were not growing. In pursuit of our making things in order, we became too much internally focused and we lost relevance from the market. And the shareholders with the past experience, they had apprehension about what's happening in the Bangladesh market. They became very scared and think the Bangladesh banking ba financial institution business in And they were not giving us the green signal to the Purushala the board decided to renew my contract for the second time. And after that, when the chairman came to negotiate my compensation package with me, I gave him a bad news that, sir, I have decided to leave IPDC. And he was shocked. He was not ready to I will my decision and I will tell that. So he said, come on, I was not ready for this question, uh, this uh, say information. But at the same time, I am very interested to know why you want to leave. I said, it's nothing personal, but IPDC has come out of all its problems and today is in a very good shape. And as IPDC is not growing, I don't see any challenge here. So any mediocre person can come and run this company. He said, no, 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 we want to grow. Let's have a strategy and let's uh, try to see what we can do for growth. So we presented that, but somehow those uh, shareholders from abroad, they were not that keen to really adopt a new strategy for the company. Fortunately, that time, something happened at IPTC whereby Bragg purchased 40% share of the company. And Bragg knows Bangladesh market more than anybody else. And Sir Abed, thank you. Sir Abed, one afternoon, just after the acquisition, came to IPTC and he was sitting with the senior leadership team and he was telling, just excuse me for a minute. So, Sir Amit told me, listen, Mohamed, IPDC was an iconic institution and I want you people to make this institution iconic once again. So, that was like a green card. We sat together and we said, what can we do for this country? How IPDC as a financial intermediary can bring a positive change for the people of this country. What are the challenges this country is faith, will be facing in next 10 to 15 years, which as a financial institution we can solve. So we brought in three specific areas of intervention whereby IPDC can make a positive change in the socio-economic development of this country. First one was affordable housing. So traditionally we are always large project financing company and this kind of 
financing was never into our business arena. So if you see, if you can agama pochilam je Sonia apa bodhay pochhe je Dhaka chitonge manushe chhe na shakti chhu kora. But there is a vast majority of lower middle income families across the country. Jara tade shumosto jibone shonchoy diye amon ekta shumai bari kora shul kore. Je shumai bari ta shesh hoy, they don't have time to enjoy the fruit of their uh, effort. Othoba chotte chhu shonchoy niye bari kora shul kore shonchoy shesh hoye jai. তারপরে আবার দুই বছর এটা রেখে দেয় ফাউন্ডেশন দিয়ে তারপরে ওয়াল করে আবার চার বছর পরে দেন ছাপটা করে আরো তিন বছর পরে সো দিস ইজ এ কন্টিনিউয়াস জার্নি অফ বিল্ডিং আ হাউস ওভার 10 টু 20 ইয়ার্স দ্যাটস নট এফিশিয়েন্ট বাট দে ইফ দে রিসিভ আ স্মল অ্যামাউন্ট অফ মানি 10 লাখ 15 লাখ টাকা আনলাইক ঢাকা শহরে 2 কোটি 10 কোটি টাকা দিয়ে অ্যাপার্টমেন্ট বা বাড়ি কিনছে যারা সেখানে that makes a huge difference in their life their kids grow up in the house so house has a tremendous social and economic impact the economic impact the highest multiplier effect on the, on the economy is from the residential housing so we say not dhaka chitogong will go to the smaller cities and suburbs for the small uh, or the লোয়ার মিডল ইনকাম ফ্যামিলির যাদের সীমিত আয়ের মানুষ তাদেরকে আমরা ফাইন্যান্স করি সেকেন্ড আমরা বললাম যে উইমেন ইভেন এটা টার্সিয়ারি লেভেল অ্যারাউন্ড থার্টি থ্রি পারসেন্ট গ্র্যাজুয়েটস আর উইমেন বাট ইন দ্য ফর্মাল জব সেক্টর ইস অনলি ফর্টিন পারসেন্ট অ্যান্ড অন্টারপ্রিনারশিপ ইস ইভেন লোয়ার দেন দ্যাট অনলি থ্রি পয়েন্ট ওয়ান ফোর পারসেন্ট অফ দ্য এস এম ই লোন গোস টু দ্য উইমেন এন্টারপ্রিনার but that situation is changing rapidly so we saw there is a huge opportunities and also a huge responsibility to play a catalytic role in developing more women entrepreneur to really work for the women empowerment in the country so we we say we will also work for the women empowerment in bangladesh and third we say every year around 2 million new members joining in the labor force currently we have the absorption capability of around 1 million to 1.1 million so how how the rest will get employed only through creating new entrepreneurs so amra bollam je amra notun entrepreneur and sme der ke loan dibo so we had put an ambitious ambitious plan in the strategy amra tokhon chilam around 530 crore amra bollam je amra 5 bochorer moddhe 10000 koti taka business kore felbo so amar jara amar sathe jara chilo they got very scared boss kiu kokhono bishgun boro hoyeche 5 bochorer moddhe banking sector e it's not there and the don't look from that angle আমরা উল্টা ক্যালকুলেশন করি যে আমরা কি করব হোয়াট ইজ আওয়ার সেন্স অফ পারপাস আমরা পঞ্চাশ হাজার ফ্যামিলিকে তাদের যে স্বপ্নের বাড়ি তৈরি করতে সাহায্য করব আমরা দশ হাজার নারীকে এম্পাওয়ার্ড করব আমরা দুই হাজার নতুন আন্টারপ্রেনার তৈরি করব এইগুলো কি করা সম্ভব পাঁচ বছরের বাংলাদেশে ভেরি স্মল কম্পেয়ার টু দ্য বিগ অপরচুনিটি ইন দ্য মার্কেট আই সে you focus so just focus on the purpose what we will be doing so sonia pao ka kotha bolchilo so for ipdc the financial success is important but more important is for how many people we can create a positive change in their life be it in business be it at the household individual level and that completely change the scenario that sense of purpose that third p that really made a change we are not only successful in terms of growth the kind of award we have received is not only for financial success it is also or more importantly because what difference we are creating in the life of these people how we are driving our business on every day to bring a smile in the face of our customer 
that remains our biggest biggest success that bringing a smile to the face of our customer thank you so these three p's first i said perseverance second i said passion for learning third is a sense of purpose these three p together i say the attitude of a ceo the attitude of a ceo so i say ceo is not a position ceo is an attitude now in ipdc we have around 825 team members we are only 100 for years back but important thing we say every member in ipdc we it a driver we it a security guard the lift man the clerk a management trainee who has just joined today or in the senior leadership team who is driving a business or function everybody must think act and interact like a ceo so we say we don't have one ceo we say we have 825 ceo and in a company if you have 825 ceo you can do miracle so when i look at you when i look at you i feel very very encouraged when i look at you i see dream when we grew up when we were a student nobody encouraged us to pursue our dreams we were always governed by rules regulations policies you do it you don't do it you study you have the highest cgpa from the best educational institute you pursue a job at the best organization world renowned organization but frankly speaking nobody ever told us you go pursue your dream now when i look at my facebook pages i have the limit of 5000 friends so that has crossed but more than 50% of my friends who are below 30 the biggest positivity is say that beyond their say studentship or any work they are engaged in so many social things always something that better bangladesh let's do it all of they they are volunteers they are ceo they are doing something different so i say the power of dream is much bigger than the power of policies and rules so you people you people are the for bhara who will bring the change in this country what we have done and what we will be do in terms of quality in terms of dimension that will have complete difference if you have a dream a dream which doesn't define what you want to be rather a dream a sense of purpose that defines what you will be doing for the people around you in any discipline the most successful people are the people who have this sense of purpose a dream which you will not see when you are sleeping a dream which will not allow you to sleep so have that dream have that sense of purpose and have then the passion and perseverance to achieve that you will not have to wait till 35 years to become a ceo from today from the day you have this three p's you are a ceo thank you thank you bhaiya can i request you to please stay on the stage a little bit longer i mean the speech was so inspiring especially what you have said at the very beginning that everyone can actually be a ceo everyone has the potential it just needs some perseverance and some patience 
Thank you so much, Maria, for your time. I know how extremely busy you are today. You have classes to take, and still you came. Thank you so much. I'm going to give to Jogi Hatali Wow, thank you. And uh, can I request um, 12 Clothing CEO Moti Raman sir and Team Group Managing Director Rakit sir to come on the stage to hand over the crests? So we have a very small token of appreciation for you. <laughs>